Did you know that whether you play Rise of Kingdoms, Call of Dragons, Warpath, uh, AFK Arena, or many of the other Lilith games like Dislight, there is actually a special member center. And I made a video talking about that a couple days ago, and suddenly this topic is really, really popular because it turns out there's a way that you can get a bunch of free stuff, and it turns out that the amount of stuff you can get is apparently very significant. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in with my account and see what we can get cuz I spent over 120 grand in Rise of Kingdoms. Let's see how I get rewarded. Apparently it's a lot of gems. Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming and as you may have seen in my spending video, I've spent over $150,000 on Lilith games. Some of that is in Call of Dragons. The majority of that is in Rise of Kingdoms. But there is a member center. And there are many ways to access this member center, which we're going to talk about, that can potentially get you some free stuff. And this is something that I saw people are talking about in my alliance. I saw also Fleisch made a video about this, talking about all these gems that you can get. So let's go claim my gems and see exactly how much we can get. So the way that you do this is you need to go into your settings. You need to go to the account section and you need to actually link an account. Now I have my email address blocked off over here, but the point is that you need to have an email address linked up. And I think it's really important that you should have other things linked up as well. Now, this is what the view looks like from an iPad. It looks a little bit different from the PC, but the idea is the same. And you'll basically verify that you have the email address that you say you have. That way they know like, oh yes, they actually can access the email address that you have submitted. Now your next step is gonna depend on whether or not the Lilith uh, pass area is, is actually in the game that you're playing. In Call of Dragons, there's actually a section in the account area that takes you directly to your Lilith pass. It's not in Rise of Kingdoms as of the time of this recording. So you can go to the website pass.lilith.com. Okay, very simple. It's going to put this screen up right here that we're already looking at. You are going to enter your email address, then hit get code. You'll go to the email address and enter the code. I'm going to do that now so that I can log in. You also could log in with a password, but I don't know, this just feels way easier. So now that we've logged into the member center, we can go and do stuff. And I logged in earlier today, so it's technically not my first login today, but whatever. Uh, apparently, every time you go in here, you get points, which is fine. I have my member ID blocked off. I don't know how relevant that is to share, but you can see that I have a stupid amount of points here. I mean, 123,000? Uh, no. 1.2 million points? I don't know. The way to figure out, I think, how much you've spent is approximately just, like, remove some zeros. Like, so it's I think it's $123,000 is the number. All right. And that matches up with about how much I've spent. The only thing that throws it off is that I'm getting points other ways now by actually logging into this thing. And what you can go to do to get your free gems is you go to Clam Pack and you need to actually, I think, switch to the right game here. So we'll go to Rise Kingdoms and there are a bunch of bundles that we can go and get. So let's go get all these bundles. Uh, we'll claim them now. Ooh, Diamond Upgrade Pack. All right. What am I going to get? Claim the sign up pack. One gold key, two silver keys. Select a recipient. We're going to send it to my main account. Um, Yeah, I got, dude, I got accounts on accounts on accounts. All right. Um, Also, wait a minute. It listed as server 1605, but that is wrong. So that's really weird. Um, I don't know what the answer is there, but my governor ID is correct here. Uh, so we're just going to go with this one. Claim. Your bundle will be sent to your character in-game within the next 30 minutes. Let's just pull it up in-game real quick. So here it is. It showed up in-game. So even though the server number is not listed quite correctly, uh, this is good. Okay, gold key, three silver keys. Well, that ain't much, but how much does it stack up? Let's find out. Now we'll claim the silver upgrade package. Three gold keys, 10 silver keys, a 60-minute speed up. Let's select the recipient. Easy. Done. Now we do the gold upgrade pack. Eight gold keys. All right, 25 silvers. 60 minute training speed. All right, great. Claim. Should get spicy with the platinum pack, right? Let's claim it. 12 gold keys. I mean, I'm still like, eh, you know, what? it's kind of like whatever. Eight hour training speed up. I mean, 
11 crystal keys. I guess that's kind of nice. Put it over here. Claim. Great. And this can only be claimed once for your email. So, I mean, it's... This is choose a character to receive the bundle. You can only claim this bundle once. Um, 13 gold keys. Eight hour training speed up. Cool. 13 crystal keys. 20 Mulan sculptures and a targeted teleport. Send it all to Chisco, baby. The main account. Juice it up. I mean, I could send them to my restart account, truthfully. Now the diamond pack. I mean, this has got to be good, right? What's in the diamond pack? Give me gems. 25 gold keys. 50 silver keys. A 24-hour training speed up, 22 crystal keys, 35 Mulan sculptures, an avatar frame. Dude, this would have been really good before I max Mulan. Um, honestly, I'm tempted to... Why didn't I think of this earlier? I should just send these Mulan sculptures to my research. Oh, but now I can't. Dude, avatar frame? Bro, I'm not messing around with an avatar frame. We're talking about cosmetics. This just got really serious. <laughs> this just got serious. It's cosmetics. Have to send it to the main account. Can't fool around. Well, who are you kidding here? Also a master's blueprint. I mean, not worth anything to me now, but okay. So we send it to the main. GG. Okay. Cosmetics. We ain't fooling around. There are theoretically limited time bundles, but I don't have any of them. So theoretically, there's an option to add your birthday. My birthday was already in here for some reason. And my Rise of Kingdoms and Call of Dragons accounts aren't linked. So that's a little confusing. But I had no option to get a special birthday reward, nor did I get something for my birthday this year. But apparently people are getting large amounts of gems if they've spent large amounts of money. I'm going to have to go and reach out to support and like have a conversation and ask like, hey, how does that work? Did I not get my gems? How, how does this go? Uh, but people are sending around screenshots of apparently 20,000 plus gems if you're a Kraken in this game, which sounds pretty nice. So if you wanted to enter your birthday, a way that you could do that is in the account section. When I did this for Call of Dragons, which again, stupidly, my Call of Dragons account and my Rise of Kingdoms accounts are on two different emails. I got to go get that solved. But the um, point I'm trying to make is you, you, when I did this for Call of Dragons, I got like almost nothing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I did this apparently for Rise of Kingdoms ages ago. And theoretically on your birthday, you're supposed to get something. Um, and if your birthday happened in the last year and you just entered it, you're supposed to get something as well. So I would go in and enter your birthday and see if you don't get a bunch of gems. Because I'm seeing a bunch of screenshots floating around. I'll have to get copies of these that uh, look like you could get a lot of gems for this. All right, so this didn't work for me regarding birthday stuff, but if you've entered your birthday in the account section you see in the bottom right over here, theoretically, you then have to go to Rise of Kingdoms and it should be in the time-limited bundles. Now, I don't know why I have an AFK Arena time-limited diamond birthday bundle that I don't want. I don't want this. <laughs> <laughs> I want my Rise of Kingdoms bundle. <laughs> I did not claim one. I have no record of it in my mails. I'm definitely confused as to where it went. I got to reach out to support to sort it out. But my Alliance members are saying they can confirm that when you enter your birthday, it would go over here. This is what I get for proactively entering my birthday. I tried to then go into my account section and change my birthday, but you can only change your birthday once a year. So like... I think I just entered my birthday literally days before they added this thing where they give you all this stuff for your birthday. I could just be wrecked on this one for being proactive. It is what it is. I just got to get to support and find out. But the limited bundles section, time limited, is where it will be. And like, bro, like why? It's I mean, it's here for this game. Why don't I have it for Rise of Kingdoms? I definitely didn't claim it. By the way, here you can see all the stuff that I got in game. The avatar frame, by the way, looks like it's from a 2020 anniversary event that I probably had anyways. So GG, I should have sent this probably to my restart account after all. Get wrecked, nerd. Uh, and then here's the prior tier. Again, I should have sent all these Mulan sculptures to my restart account. But like, honestly, it's not like I'm using Mulan in the field. It just kind of doesn't matter. Um... All right, cool. I guess, I guess, yeah, I guess, you know, the crystal keys on the main ain't so bad. The speed's on the main. So there's all the bundles. It depends, again, on your spend here. Um, and the one thing I can confirm, I'll put a picture up on the screen, is that you do definitely get birthday rewards. So why didn't I get any birthday rewards? Hello? I want birthday rewards, WTF, mate. So I reached out to Lilith Support, and we'll see what they say.
I didn't get any birthday rewards. Legit. Straight up. But some people are saying that uh, <laughs> they, what they've done is they've entered an upcoming date as their birthday. I'm not encouraging this because I think it's pretty important that if you enter your birthday, you have that as like a piece of security information. You can answer correctly if contested for your account. My two cents. Um, but what they're basically doing is they're entering a birthday that's just coming up so that they'll get the rewards right away for having had a birthday in the last year. And then theoretically, when their birthday comes up, they get their reward again. I don't know. Um, I'm, I, you do you, all right? But can confirm people in my alliance have got gems, and it's a ton of them for entering their birthday, and it's based on your spend level. So up to you on how you want to approach that. Now, by the way, the other topic you might be really interested in is a way to get 10% more stuff for your bundles. The way that you do that is in the payment center. You click that little button over there, or you go to the Pluto Mall. It's like plutomall.lilith.com. I mean, look, I'll just click it. It's just plutomall.com. There you go. Um, and the Pluto Mall is a way that you can get 10% extra stuff um, on some of the things that you buy. It depends on the bundle. You can read all of that in here. In fact, if I just hit a server here, oh, it's going to make me log in. GG. Um, but the way that this works is you basically look at the bundles and... Uh, it'll tell you if you're going to get extra stuff if you buy tickets through here. But I've covered this way in depth in other videos. If you want to see this way in depth, oh, here we go. I don't have to log in to show you, right? Um, I've covered this way in depth. Card will be in the end screen. You basically buy one of these bundles and you get tickets. You use the tickets at your convenience and they give you 10% of extra value in the form of tickets to get stuff. But you want the full video card in the end screen. If you get a bunch of free gems, let me know down below in the comments how it worked out for you. And until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.